Good afternoon on what is a grey, overcast but mild day. It is Friday the 25th of January and literally I've just heard my first ice cream van of the year. Jave in January and the ice cream van is out. Anyway, uh, I'm back out in the reading nook with um, more parcels and a nice hot cup of tea. And what I am going to unbox is, well, I recently did an unboxing of the new version of HeroQuest, uh, following my unboxing of the first edition of HeroQuest, um, and that got me thinking about what the Dungeoneering board games have I got um, on my shelves, and there are some classics there, and I remembered Dungeon. Um, this was, let's have a look, oh, um, I've looked at this in a while. This is published in 2012, so it's 10 years old, um, and uh, it's, it's, it's published by TSR, uh, and this is, a, this is their, probably the most recent reprint of classic 1970s uh, Dungeoneering board game, one of the very first, um, at, uh, and as you can see, you reckon, you'll recognise the trade dress for this, I mean this is how dated it is, this is the trade dress for um, basic Dungeons and Dragons, um, third, fourth, fourth edition, fourth edition, and the thing is, you have to think that we've always kind of had, uh, as well as the Dungeons and Dragons game, whether that's um, basic Dungeons and Dragons or Dungeons and Dra advanced Dungeons and Dragons, we've always kind of had a Dungeons and Dragons kind of board game, um, uh, you know. Uh, and then there's, there's one out right now, which I will do an unboxing of um, at some point, and some of them are very collectible. Some of them. Um, I've not been reprinted, but this one, this one, um, uh, who not not being shown a lot of interest by the cat who is not out, not mine, okay, but he is looking for a fuss. Uh, this one has sort of gone in and out of print, um, and TSR, uh, basic TSR, TSR, and then uh, Wizards of the Coast um, have returned to it again and again. So let's take, crack this open, see what's inside it. Well, let's have a look on the back, actually. So we, um, it's a uh, Okay, a, tre a fantastic game adventure for the whole family. Uh, Dungeon is an exciting fantasy board game that provides hours of fun. Play a fighter, a rogue, a cleric, or a wizard, searching for lost treasures in a dungeon filled with monsters. Um, oh, he really does want my attention. Um, only your magic weapons and your wits can protect you. Game components include rule book, game board, two dice, 165 cards, eight hero standees, and 39, 139 die cut counters. Uh, so there's a picture on the back, there we go. But inside, inside we have... Uh, um, yep, just gonna try, yeah, oh, hello, yes. I'm not, in, I am partially ignoring him, um, but I'm doing it for a minute. So you've got the dice there, and then, see everything else in there. So that includes, you've got the um, various le levels and counters and monsters and um, basically, there's the monsters. <laughs> um, now he's taking an interest. Is that something that for me, it's not something for him. Uh, so more monsters and more monsters, little tiny little cards, they're a little bit difficult to handle, and they're all divided into according to your level, um, and you've got um, a huge sapphire, basically that's a huge sapphire, that's how much gold you're going to get out and carry out with you, um, if you manage to escape the dungeon. Um, the rules themselves, uh, they're, let's have a look, the rules. And these open up like that. And one of the nice touches that you've got in there, the um, essentially here are the area maps and the sections, basically the arrows pointing to those sections as you can kind of see there. So here's an explanation of this section and it's pointed to by your by the rules themselves. So the rules cover things like you know how to win, set up moving, encountering combat loot, wizard spells, winning the game, the special treasure cards and solo play as well. 
um, at uh, the explanation on the monster cards on the back, everything in there. So very, very quite forward. And then you've got all the um, there's all the counters. Um, so and the other thing is, let's just show you these. Um, so those are the those are the standees for um, the characters, and you basically pump, pump those out and slot those in. Uh, all cardboard, quite um, relatively. It's well, the production values on it are reasonable given what it is. Um, if you have a look at something like Hero Quest, the more, or, or even sort of the 1989 version, that was upgraded with miniatures. You know, Games Workshop providing the miniatures, and then the new version has got more miniatures. Um, all of that is done on cardboard and cards. Uh, it was always a kind of a um, dungeon was always. I mean, it's um, sort of uh, playable, but sort of like I'm not going to say cheap, but but inexpensive is 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 a nice way to put it. Um, not great production values, and they, they've been greatly improved, but they're still uh, they're not on the scratch of what you would expect. But again, in a flat board game board like that, a game box like that, you you really don't expect anything. And then we've got um, the map. I um, don't know what the cat's doing behind there, so that'll be a surprise for me, um, as you can see. Um, and it's colour coded really, so the different, loca the different levels are, um, um, are, 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 are uh, colour coded, the room, room areas are colour coded by level, um, and uh, you've got the places like the pantry and the chapel and the guard room and the kitchen and so on, the lair and the burrow, the DP go down uh, and you've got an explanation of a, some sort of a sequence of play um, and sort of like the treasures and what you might encounter down there um, by level and uh, that table is monster attacks um, and then dungeon key, yeah, don't find the base basically over there, all very simple. So now he settles down. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's that's, that's, that's dungeon. Um, it's um, it, okay. what it's not is, as far as I recall. I mean, I have played it once, and it's been a once or twice, but quite a long time ago. It's it's a game you really kind of play. Um, it's a competitive game, and you're you're basically racing in to get a treasure and get back out again, um, surviving monsters and so on. Um, but, uh, and um, so it's really a game of, sort of like dungeon, solo dungeon trips rather than you cooperating as a party, um, which is what you would have in something like Hero Quest or Sorcerer's Cave um, at, uh, or the recent Descent. Um, they're all about cooperation and working together. This is a classic board game in that you are um, working as parties of one each. So yeah. That's Dungeon. This is from that's, that's, this is came out in 2012. I think some probably track down a copy of this, and I think it's worth uh, um, really uh, getting hold of to see, um, look at really sort of like the basics of the evolution of the kind of the dungeon adventure in board game format. Because uh, very probably this is where it started. And here you go. There's the, there's, there's the ice cream <laughs> ice cream van in January. I know it's a reasonably it's not a cold day, but January anyway so yeah this is really you think about this as kind of like the starting point for your dungeon uh, dungeon bash board games um, and over the years they will get more uh, sophisticated and um, have lots of different bits so essentially in this whereas you've got just the one map um, and you'd be playing that all the same all, um, all the time in more modern games you would be doing the modularity of it or you'd have different terrain and Features which you can, um, uh, you, which you can modify the, the, the basic the, the, the each individual room and that sort of thing. Open doors, closed doors, furniture, traps. This is all down to the cards, and the dungeon the dungeon layout never changes. Um, but, uh, and so, really, this as I said, this is much more of a board game. Whereas those other games are much more they're board games, but there's there's there's, many, there's storytelling games as well, essentially. You play a story through. You, there's more of a story built into the front of 
the game, i.e. you're going to go in there and sort of like explore and battle and so on. Uh, this you can all see where you're trying to go and it's much more of, sort of like a race to get in and get out and survive. Anyway, so that is Dungeon Fantasy Fantasy Board Game, uh, published by Wizards of the Coast 2012. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, please do click the like button down below. And uh, if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, where you'll see me out here uh, with a parcel um, containing a book or a game which I will unbox and chat about for, to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so. All of course accompanied by a cat who is not ours and a nice cup of tea. Then please do hit that subscribe button. Once again, thanks for watching another unboxing in the nook, and I'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.